Hi folks, it's Gordon Young again here uh, from Gordon, Scotland and uh, this is another uh, in my series of, of interviews with people who feel that Outlander has in some way changed their lives. Now today I'm with the lovely Christina Kegley who, who resides now in North Carolina but I believe she is a Jersey girl from New Jersey. Yeah. Uh, now Southern Belle. <laughs> so there she is. Uh, and so yes, yeah, so we're, we're going to have a little chat and just talk about how Christina became a, an Outlander fan and, and how she feels the, the, the books or the TV series have changed her life somewhat. Um, so, Christina, mm -hmm. first and foremost, welcome to Edinburgh, welcome mm -hmm. to Scotland. Mm -hmm. uh, and perhaps, Christina, you could maybe let the, the, the fans know, um, how did you first become an, and when did you become an Outlander fan? Oh, well, it's only been um, approximately a year and a half. Right, so you're quite new. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, but I'm all in. <laughs> yeah, that's time. good. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I think what happened was, so many years, I don't know how, at least three years, I've had friends, girlfriends of course, yep. oh this show's fantastic, this show's fantastic, but it's on a, it's on a particular channel I never had, Right. and I was busy with life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as I, we all are. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> so, um, never got around to even finding the channel that it was on. Right. And so, hearing more stuff, of hearing more stuff, and then, um, you know, I had uh, three you know, problems with my family, three deaths. Right. Um, since uh, basically 2017. Yeah. So I was busy with taking care of people, and then uh, they passed away, taking care of the funeral, taking care of the paperwork. Right. Uh, well, then what happened was, out of loneliness, I just started watching a lot of TV. Right. So my husband died, and that's one of the deaths. So I started watching the show, and right away I was like, Holy moly! <laughs> <laughs> so it was you an know, instant effect. It was for you. instantly in love right. with the show. Oh, good, excellent. With the drama. Yep. Okay, with uh, the crime because all the deaths in the show, I just cried my eyes out. Yeah. Yep. All the happiness in the show yep. reminded me of good parts good, of our marriage yeah, yeah. and good times with my family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, to all the stresses, uh, how it showed the interplay between uh, a couple where one person's strong and the other person can maybe be a little bit weaker yeah. but you help them out then the other person is weak and the stronger you know by some versa like couples mm -hmm. and of course then I start to think about what I don't have anymore yeah. cry my eyes out all that stuff so anyway so then I started thinking well here I am single mm -hmm. I need to get my butt off the couch good and lose weight which <laughs> I since started watching Outlander I swear to God 50 pounds all right yes Excellent. So, I started thinking, oh man, if I could just get a guy like Jamie. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. I, this is absolutely true. Of course, he's got to be around 60 years old because that's how old I am. So, I'm like, uh, well, and look at, look at Claire. Claire, Claire, Claire. The most beautiful woman in the whole world. The most luckiest woman in the whole world. Ah. So, anyways, needless to say, they both inspired me to not only lose weight, but Good. try to be a better version of myself. Good spend less time eating and watching TV, more time exercising, and you know, after that I joined wi uh, Widow's Group for people that just like me, that mm -hmm. have no one to go to the pool with, have mm -hmm. no one to go shopping with, have no one to go on a trip to Scotland with, mm -hmm. things like that. And that's been phenomenal. We, as a group, like, about eight to ten ladies and it changes because not everybody's available every single week. Mm. So well, you meet up with this group every week? Yeah, yeah. That's group good. Every week we out like twice a week. And, Excellent. And uh, most of them I've already told about Adam and, and they're totally addicted once, you know, it got in Netflix over in uh, America. All right. Then because of that, first season one and two, oh my gosh, all these women are like, thank God you told me about that. <laughs> So this is the impact that Outlander yeah, on you. Making, oh, yeah, my, and I got my sister-in-law to come to Scotland with me only because I got her to watch mm -hmm. like the whole two seasons and then she watched, she got stars and watched it in the next mm -hmm. two seasons. So, and, uh, and, t and I had met a few people that, oh, I only read some of the book. And I was like, well, go to the series, fall in love again, and then go back to the books because the books are awesome. Yeah. But, you know, for immediate gratification, you can watch the... <laughs> You can watch so, the series. Have you read many of the books then? No, I'm only no. up to almost finished with the season two. Oh, I right. mean, book two, sorry. Book two, book yeah. two. Mm -hmm. But of course, I've watched the actual series yes. at least five times. Sure when you're sitting home alone and you're yeah. missing your husband, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know, but I do have my son. He lives like two streets away, and my, I have my, gr my daughter and my mm. uh, two grandkids, so that's awesome. That's yeah, so, so I, well, I do well, have a life, you know, but it's just no, got to so make the best of it. There you are. I mean, so, you know, there's some fans I, I, I've met who been you know 20 odd years but here you are you're quite new no, fan. wonderful no. Christina yeah so 
in that space of time, to me, you seem to have done an awful lot, but in your own words now, tell me, what do you feel has been the main impact for you of, of Outlander then? Or how do you think well, it's changed your life? I mean, then? when you have like three deaths in the family yep. in less than a year and a yeah. half, must be terrible. I was kind of depressed. Yeah, and absolutely. when you're overweight, that, yeah. you, that's a little depressing, yeah. and you're feeling alone in life, yeah. I feel like... Yeah. Well, don't forget, I didn't think I mentioned that I was taking care of my dad right. and my mom and right. my husband. And I, there's so another death difficult. that I want to talk about. No, but no. Um, For like the last six and a half years. Right. So, you know, you're not putting yourself no. first. No, no, no. So I started putting myself first. Yeah. So that's the biggest way it impacted me. Yeah. But also it made me happy. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and then this is the funniest thing is I have to finally say to myself, okay, I watched it enough, watch something else. You don't have to watch Outlander time after time after time. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I find myself about ready to ch start cheating on my diet. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. I'm not joking. So then I start back with episode one, season one, and I'm looking at Jamie, I'm like, mm, yes, uh, <laughs> I need to start dieting. And now, I've started following him and following all the Outlander sites mm -hmm. on Facebook, and uh, he is this thing, My Peak Challenge, yeah. which yes, I haven't got around to finding out about, but I mean, some of the women are, you know, having a lot of success, so Absolutely. I'm going to I think that would be worth probably trying. get into it, because I know yeah. I need to start weightlifting and things like that. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I think the My Peak Challenge uh, idea is phenomenal, and the, the number of people, fans I've met, who, mm -hmm. who swear by it and say it's a wonderful program. To right, and it's most, I don't know if it's most of it or all that goes to non-profit, great all different to, organizations. Yeah, no, it's all to, Jim, uh, to Sam's Sam charity. Sam yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's, that's quite amazing. Oh, well, I should mention, yes, though, besides do. that, I learned so much history about Scotland mm, that indeed. I forgot to mention. Yeah. I mean, I like, fell in love with the idea of a country that basically had a revolution that wasn't successful, and mm. our, our revolution in the United States was. Yeah. Mm. And what if the fact that uh, France decided not to help mm -hmm. the Jacobites, what if they had helped? Maybe we wouldn't have got the help mm -hmm. from the French yeah. that helped us win our Revolutionary indeed. War. Yeah. Yeah, the whole so, world could have changed. Oh, yeah. We could still have a king. And yeah. we could have had Bonnie Prince Charlie, from what I hear the rumors. <laughs> some There's some people that say he was going to try to be our president. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you haven't heard that rumor? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's actually well-known so-called his, so called history. Yeah. Right. But anyways, uh, so that's really would affect you if you all of a sudden mm -hmm. would have possibly, you know, um, you, well, you just realize that thing. So you yeah. just appreciate, appreciate your country more, mm -hmm. the fact that you don't have to... Uh, be ruled by another country. Yeah, you know. No, so. I think I think those aspects you've mentioned, Christina. You know, here you are. You, you've opened your heart up to us and to me uh, through some dark times. Outlander's helped you, mm -hmm. but also this is the first time I've heard Outlander as a diet uh, program. <laughs> So actually, well, <laughs> that's a whole new thing for Outlander, the Outlander Diet Program. Yeah, yeah. And now it's totally true because I, I met this um, couple of people I hadn't seen in a year. And they're like, what did you do? <laughs> and I was like, well, besides counting calories and eating between 10 and 6 and sort of like not trying to snack, mm -hmm. I watch Outlander <laughs> and I dream of it to tell you I could have a guy as hot as him. That's <laughs> Jamie Frazier. Well, there you go. Yeah. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> I know it's crazy, but it's true. No, it's true. But it's true, and that's what we want to hear: is the, the real impact. At this, yeah. In a, in a short and I'm happy now. Can you tell I'm happy? Yes, you are yes. very happy. And yes. in a short space of time, yeah. Outlander has helped you, Christina, yeah. and you kindly have come here today. Yeah, I thank you so much, much for taking so much the for time out. That. I appreciate it. No, thanks and uh, I'm sure the fans will enjoy thanks. listening to this. <laughs> Gosh. Thanks. They will. I and appreciate it. So, guys, this video will, as usual, it will be on my uh, YouTube channel, Gordon's uh, Scotland, uh, but I'll also share it on Facebook. So, if you'd like to like it and share it with uh, other fans, that would be great. Just to let them see real Outlander fans talking. But anyway, to you all from Christina and I from Scotland, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Yeah.